Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself and my channel with you. I am Suraya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object to draw and while drawing, I will make a story or deliver some information about the topic. So, as you saw, my today's topic is a tree and a uh, and an empty case hanging down the from the branch so i don't like the birds um, in the case they deserve freedom they deserve the freedomness so i will tell you a story about the story's name is the bird in the golden age so it's our story time let's jump to the story a merchant in Persia received a gift from his friend. It was a green parrot in a beautiful golden case. I got this talking parrot especially for you from India. Just feed this parrot chilies and hear its beautiful songs, said the friend. One day the merchant announced that he would be going on a trip to India. What does everyone want? Bring me a beautiful silk cloth, said his wife. Toys, I want a toy cart which can follow me wherever I go, said his daughter. The merchant turned to the parrot. What about you, my friend? What do you want? The parrot sighed. Master, if you see green parrots in India, will you please inform them that I alive and well? Tell them that I live in a big house in Persia in a case. The merchant promised to pass on the masses and left. After finishing all his work in India, the merchant visited a garden. He came across a group of parrots. He walked up to them, friend parrots, I bring a message to you from one of your sisters. She was trapped here in India, but she now lives with me. One of the parrots flew and landed on the merchant's shoulder. Is that so? It said, we hope she is safe. Oh yes, she lives in a beautiful golden case. I feed her taste food. She wanted you to know that she is alive and well, said the merchant. Hearing this, the parrot sitting on the merchant's shoulder shivered and fell to the ground. The merchant was alarmed and tried to wake up the parrot, but it lay still. What have I done? He cried. All I wanted to do was pass on a message. I didn't know this parrot would die. The merchant slowly got up and left for home. He was greeted at the door by his wife and daughter. He gave them the gifts he had brought for them. Then he turned to the parrot. Did you pass on the message to my friends? How did they say? asked the parrot excitedly. I delivered the masses like you asked me to. But after listening to it, one of your friends shivered and fell to the ground. I am afraid your friend died. I am so sorry, said the merchant sadly. The parrot went still. And then she too shivered and fell. The merchant cried out, Oh my God, why is this happening? He opened the case door and gently lifted the parrot out. He felt sorry for his beloved bird. He took the bird out to the garden to bury it. After digging the hole, he turned to leave the bird. Just then, the parrot sat up and flipped it on a nearby wall. The merchant was both shocked and happy. Friend parrot, I am so happy you are alive, but why did you fall down? 
The parrot who fell down wasn't actually dead. She was sending me a message, said the parrot with a smile. The open sky is any day better than a golden case. She also showed the way to escape the case. I never realized that you were sad in the case, said the merchant. Fly away, my friend. Fill the world with your beautiful song. The parrot flapped its wings and flew towards the open sky. And as we have time, I will narrate you another story. This story's name is Story About Change, a caged bird's chance for freedom. The bird in the cage had lived there for a very long time. Often, it would look through the bars of the cage out of the window to the meadows and trees beyond. It could see other birds flying free in the open air and often it would wonder how it would be to feel the sun on its back, the wind in its feathers, to swap and soar and snatch mosquitoes in flight. When the bird thought of these things, it could feel its heart beating with excitement. It would sit taller on its perch and breathe deep into its bird belly, sensing the thrill of possibility. Sometimes another bird would land on the window lace, resting from its travels and look inside at the caged bird. The traveler would put its head on one side as if asking itself how such a thing could be. A bird in a case, unimaginable. And it was at this time that the case bird felt most miserable. Its little shoulders slammed. It felt a lump in its throat and a heaviness in its heart. One day, the owner of the cased bird accidentally left the door of the case open. The bird looked through the door. It saw the birds sweeping and soaring outside, the sun on their backs and the, and the wind in their feathers, and it felt a stirring inside. The cased bird noticed that the window was open, and its heart beat even faster. At this moment, the little bird had the perfect opportunity to fly to its freedom. Now she has the choice. Either she can stay here or she can fly to the sky. It considers its options. It was still considering them at sunset when the owner returned and closed the door of the case. The bird, for whatever reasons, valid security over freedom almost everyone would love to be free and independent in this modern world people are more independent and love to do everything as per their wish nobody would ever like if their independence is hampered by anyone but what if you are freedom is taken for a day what change would you notice in your life? Will you be able to survive even for a day? So there is another story. Long time ago there was a very elegant, chirpy and sovereign bird named Ellie. She lived in the forest with her mom, dad and two siblings. She was the most loved one in the family. She was the most loved one in the family and she was very adorable to look at. Her outlook towards life was very positive. She was very different from others. Her life was very colorful, bright and filled with happiness. She had such a lovely family that she never wanted to leave them and go. Ellie didn't have much friends. She was close to only five friends whom she met while she was learning to fly. Since then, they become strong and best of friends. 
her life revolved around her family and these friends. She was very fond of them. It was during winter. In the middle of the forest there was a waterfall. All the animals and birds would come there to play and drink water. Ellie along with her friends decided to go there. That place was quite far from their home. Nevertheless, her parents allowed her to go with her friends. Ellie was very happy. She wore her favorite blue color dress with a big hat and carried a small basket which had food and mat for her friends. They met at the decided place. They were very excited and thrilled as it was their first outing. They started off their journey. After going further, they halted and sat on the banyan tree to take some rest. All were tired, so they decided to have some food and take a small nap. After having food, Ellie got charged up so she was ready to proceed with the journey. But her friends were tired hence they were not willing to fly. Except for Ellie rest, everyone slept. She waited for some time and decided to freak around until they wake up. Ellie was amazed by the place. One of the hunters was passing by that lane. He was astonished to see the animals and birds dancing. His curiosity increased to see the bird that made the environment so cheerful. After crossing few more lanes, he stopped. He found that little bird. He was stunned to see the bird singing the song. He had been hunter for years but never ever seen a bird that sings so melodiously like Ailey. It was for the first time he saw such an unusual thing in his life. He couldn't control his emotions and out of curiosity he went closer to her and silently asked her name. Ellie got scared on seeing the hunter as he was holding a gun in his hand. Ellie flew away from there to save her life and went back to her friends. Hunter was very disappointed but decided to search for her. Ellie told the entire story to her friends and left from there. Finally, Ellie and her friends reached the picnic spot. The waterfall was awesome. It looked like nail coming out from the mountain. They played and danced in the water for some time. It was getting darker, hence they left the place and went back home. Ellie re released her first outing completely with her friends. She reached home and narrated everything to her sisters. Ellie always shared everything with her siblings, although they were sisters but they were more like friends. Next day, Ellie went to meet her friend. On the way, she saw the same hunter. She tried to escape from there without coming under to his notice. However, Destiny had something else. The hunter saw Ellie and followed her. She got scared but this time the hunter was not carrying a gun so she was quite relieved. I tricked him by hiding in one of the trees but she did not realize the place where she was hiding belonged to the predator. Ellie flew away from there as soon as the predator tried to pounce on her. Ellie was very exhausted, hence she decided to rest for some time, but soon she went off to sleep. Ellie opened her eyes and realized it was getting darker, so it was not safe to go to her friend's place, hence she decided to go back home. As soon as she was ready to fly, she saw the hunter searching for her. He looked very tired. So, what is their destiny? What is going to happen? If you want to know, I will tell you in my next video. Please subscribe my channel to stay connected with me to stay connected with Drawing Time Story. Still then, bye.